All right, guys, it is about quarter after three on Friday. I am up here in Washington. It is Friday the 13th. And yep, it is another scary Friday in Biden's America because my goodness, have they been caught flat footed? You know, earlier this week, we exposed the Biden administration sending baby formula, prioritizing baby formula to the illegals at the border over American children. Now, let me be clear, no one is saying that the babies at the border are to blame for this or that they shouldn't be taken care of. That's absolutely what the left wants you to believe. They want you to think that Republicans are heartless. No, it's not their fault. It's actually Biden's fault because Biden invited them to the, to the border. He invited them to come here illegally. And so now we have this crisis on our hands because we don't have a commander in chief. We have a trafficker in chief. And if you can tell by my tone, I'm pretty pissed off because the White House, CNN, all the Democrats and the Washington Post, you name it, they're coming after me because we exposed their double standard. We exposed the flaw in their so-called plan. Let me give you a hint. There was no plan. See, the FDA under Biden shut down the Abbott manufacturing plant, which makes up about 43% of the entire market share of baby formula in our country. They also specialize in the specialty formula for kids who have certain allergies or little sensitivities, things like that. Okay, so they were shut down after a whistleblower case. Rightfully so, an investigation needed to take place. So they go in, they do a thorough investigation, and the FDA, the FDA and the CDC comes out publicly and says there is no connection between the strain of bacteria that was found in the Abbott facility on a non-product uh, containing surface, right? So it wasn't near the, the, the lines of operation. And there was no connection to the strain found in the facility to the strain of bacteria that tragically took the lives of those two infants. An investigation was completed and they were found to be in compliance and they've worked every, all the little things that FDA said they needed to do out. Now this is back in February at this point, okay? Fast forward, no phone calls or emails have gone uh, without a response, so, or with a response. So Abbott has been trying to get back into operation to produce formula but guess what? The FDA won't return any phone calls. They won't return any emails. Hmm, starting to sound like maybe they don't know what they're doing. Maybe they don't have a plan. Maybe they've been directed not to do this. I don't know. Seems like the Biden administration is always looking for a boogeyman, right? If it's not Trump, then it's Putin. If it's not Putin, then it's those evil corporations, right? Because that is the Biden MO. Blame everybody else but your own damn policies. There is so much red tape and so many regulations and so many burdensome, ridiculous tariffs put in place that our parents are struggling now to find formula. And people have said, oh, don't hoard. That's the White House's response. Don't hoard anything. You can't hoard supplies that don't exist. Go to any store, any store. It could be a Walmart, a Target, a Publix, a Cro Walgreens. The shelves are barren. You can't hoard something that you don't have enough of. It's crazy. And the fact that the White House is now coming after me for exposing the plan that didn't exist, give me a break. This shortage, shortage of baby formula is directly related to Biden's inaction. They literally shut down a plant with no plan to fill or backfill that 43% of baby formula. So when they say that it's, oh, it's that, or it's this, or, you know, oh my gosh, why don't they do something that is, you know, a little bit in line with leadership and take ownership, take responsibility for their role in this crisis? Not to mention the fact that the supply chain has been broken horribly by the terrible policies of this administration for no other reason than they didn't like President Trump. By the stroke of a pen, let us not forget that they created this border crisis. Let us not forget that Biden, through removal 
of the MPP, which had to be reinstated by a judge, which, by the way, they have altered definitions. They have created this border crisis. And let us not forget that they will do anything that they can to make you believe that there's not one going on. Do you see Biden at the border? Do you see Kamala at the border? Do you see any Democrats at the border? No. But let me tell you something. People who care, who actually care about kids, they show up. I have been to the border three times. I have held these kids who have been used and abused and trafficked and assaulted, and it would break your heart. It literally will give you nightmares hearing the stories of these kids and what they have been through. And to me, it is absolutely infuriating, infuriating that Americans are put last, all because of a political agenda. So I don't care if the Washington Post and Biden and Saki and the whole gamut want to come after me. I will never back down. I will never back down because I was sent here to fight for moms and dads and kids and our, 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 our seniors. I was sent here to fight for Americans and I was sent here to fight for what is good and just. I will not back down and I will not cower to these intimidation tactics. I am telling you guys, there is way more to come on this and the facts are on our side, which is why you don't hear any from the other side. And if they think that this is the end of this, oh boy, do they have another thing coming. So guys, the timelines, they prove that this baby formula uh, shortage was a direct result of Biden's FDA. They, he said he met yesterday with the manufacturers. You know what's funny about all that? His FDA, they won't respond to any emails or contacts or anything so that the Abbott facility can get back up and running, right? They won't respond. So then this holding pattern. So here's the funny part to me about this. He says, I met with manufacturers and distributors, you know, Abbott, the largest manufacturer wasn't even invited. They weren't at the meeting. Kind of makes you wonder why. So maybe we should start asking questions of the administration because it seems like maybe they're not telling us the full truth. And if they are really truly concerned about the welfare of these kids at the border, don't you think they'd show up? Because I have, I'll be waiting for them. I'm not going to back down. Let's keep holding these folks accountable because we, the American people, we deserve better. Take care, guys. God bless. Talk to you soon.